what's up YouTube and the video I'm ready to stick to is Windows Help Live um, with a tutorial guys that I've been trying to get down for you guys it's gonna be the third time I'm redoing the tutorial hopefully third time's a charm um, what we're gonna be making here today guys is the spinning globe effect that I showed you guys in our last tutorial um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started with this we're gonna go file new new project and we'll just say no. Um, so we got a new project here. We're going to go, uh, but we'll, real quick before I start this, uh, in case you guys are following along, what you guys are going to need to grab real quick off the internet and grab it anywhere is just an earth map, a, a full earth map. It, anything will do fine, just like this works fine. Um, make sure you have that in your file somewhere. Um, we're going to open it up, like I said, file new project, composition, new composition. Any of you guys that are new to After Effects, composition is just basically how much you, how long you want your layer to last. Now we're gonna have 29 frames per second. It's fine. 10 seconds is fine. Everything looks good. Click OK. Here we go. Here's our span of the timeline. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go File, Import, Import File, Import our Earth Map, drag it here, and now it's on the composition. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up into your Effects and Preset and search CC Sphere. Now that you got your CC sphere, it's just an effect. You're gonna drag it right onto your picture. There's your globe. We're already halfway done already. Um, real simple thing. So um, now what we need to do is naturally, if you spin the globe on, it just stays there. It's just not a moving globe. That's really boring. So what you're gonna do is go to rotation, and you want to here you have your x axis. We're gonna first of all, let me. I'm going way too fast. Let me slow down here. Um, you're gonna have your z, y, and x axis. And um, each of them makes it the globe move a different way. Your X is going to go up and down. Y is going to go side to side. Z is going to tilt it. So um, we're going to tilt it just a little bit there to get that earthy feel to it. Um, and then we're going to take our Y axis and spin it around to about 58 along in there. 58 looks good. Um, and then the tilt, the up and down tilt is up to you. I kind of like it right like that around a negative 18 looks pretty good. Okay, now you're going to want to make sure, now that you got it good looking how you want it, you want to make sure that your cursor here is the very beginning of your timeline. Now we got the very beginning. You want to turn on all three of these keyframes. Looks good. Okay, now that you got it good looking how you want it to, you're going to scroll the cursor down all the way to the end of your uh, timeline. And once you got that done, you're going to take, don't mess with the X or Z now. We don't want to touch those. We want to take the Y and we want to continue to rotate it all the way back around to 57. Notice I say 57 instead of 58. You want one before what you stopped at on the other side. I'll show you why in a minute. Now, once again, make sure your keyframes are turned on and whatnot like that. Now, if you watch here, when we rotate it back and forth, the globe spins. Okay. Now, why did I have, say have you guys put it at 57 instead of 58? When you click the space bar, it's going to continue to play this thing in a loop. But we don't want it to look like it's restarting. We want this thing to look like it's just continually spinning. Now look. It does. It doesn't appear to rewind or start over. It just continues to look like it's spinning. So once again, once I said you always want to put it one prior to what it was before. And, um... Then, you know, you could always Photoshop a background in there, add a little star effect, or, you know, flash a little smoke in there, or something like that, or just some fog, or clouds, or something like that. But, anyway, guys, there's a basic idea of it. Another cool little thing is that it does give you the night and day effect. If you watch here, it looks like it's going into the night. It's a cool little thing. Hope you guys liked it. Please, please, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Tell your friends. Best tutorials on YouTube, guys. Make sure that you guys are subscribing. Remember, 100 subscribers get you the giveaway. We're giving away some awesome software, so make sure you guys are paying attention to that. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe.